Alrighty then. Alrighty then. This is the main event. So what did these two morons do? Well, maybe a little angry because they seem to not even get the basics right with Dune. Just the films. Just the films. We're not even going to get into the books, but I'll get into the books a little bit just to make fun of them. So they liked Dune. They thought it was very visuals. Thought it was really good. They thought it was like, like amazings. But they had a few problems because uh, Alonzo the gay man was like, Well, you know, the characters, they weren't, they weren't really sketched out very well. And he knows his characters. Boy, he knows the characters so well. So well, it blew his mind. The character's sketchy. The actors are really trying to imbue these characters as much life as possible. Uh, I wish I could get more invested in the 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 relationship between uh, uh paul and um why am i blanking on her shawnee timothy chalamet and zendaya yes we spent the whole first movie that's how great the shawnee chani does it really matter does it really matter who the female character was the point is the characters weren't really that good oh but the film was so great that i couldn't even remember the characters and anyway um it was just a big chessboard right Wow. Wow, okay. Um, alright. But you know, uh, hopefully the female feminist critic will do a lot better. And, well, no, apparently part two is a little disappointing because it just wasn't, you know, it wasn't her enough or something or other. Alame is great in this. He yeah. becomes a man before our eyes in this. I think there's such a, a a lanky kind of boyish quality that's made him so endearing for so long. But like he really bulks up, and you believe that transformation in terms of the power that he exudes. Yeah, like in watching part one again, like there's a part early on. So it wasn't that good, but as a woman, she really connected because you know this time Chalamet, you know Timote, like I think we see his penis, like. He's really a man, okay? He's no longer like this little scrawny, little young guy. No, he's a man now. He's really rugged, and he's really bold. So, like, as a woman, I feel this is a man, and I need to feel the man in the movie, because otherwise, what am I going for? Like, characters, plot, philosophy, themes, or whatever? No. But Timote is like, he looks good, guys. Because he's like a man now, and a woman should be with a man. And you're like, okay, that's really nice. Apparently, as a MILF, and she's got a MILF thing going, you know, she's a mother. Uh, she looks good. I can't deny she looks good. Um, I'm not going to deny I have sexual thoughts about her either. However, I try to put aside those sexual thoughts and, you know, look at her as a critic. But then the problem is she's not doing any criticizing. She's just, you know, projecting her sexual fantasies. Um, well, despite their stupidity, I do expect Dune Part 2 to be good, but them saying they are ready for Dune Part 3 shows like, wow, you didn't even bother to realize there is no Dune Part 3. There's not even a Dune Part 3 thematically. There's a sequel to Dune called Dune Messiah. There's Dune Heretics, Dune Chapter House. Uh, there's Cho- Who cares? Who cares about the books? Who cares about the movies? I mean, the movies had characters with names, but we can't remember that. The point is, the point is, the woman actress looked good, and the male actor looked good. And the visuals looked good, and the sound was very soundy. And, like, Denise a genius. Well, despite this insanity, I do expect Dune Part 2 to be good, but um, I don't think people know what is good about it they just seem to be like very vague like timote is sexy and zendaya who plays somebody somebody called sha shay shusha whatever she you know she's like a character and she makes choices and that's important that women make choices in a film because that makes them very filmy so yeah this is definitely going to be a great film but the critics praising this are pretty damn stupid and really, really childish. And there we are.